guys, welcome to our new ArcGIS YouTube channel. Usually we are searching ArcGIS related videos in YouTube when we are doing analysis alone. Especially when we are doing research projects in universities, we used to get help from YouTube videos. So, we started this YouTube channel to support GIS users from the basic steps of ArcGIS to advanced analysis tools. Not at all, we hope to do these practical lessons in QGIS software too. Because QGIS is an open source software and it is easy to use you all. Then enjoy and gain knowledge from these videos and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If there are any problems regarding these videos, please give us a feedback on the comment section in this channel. Our first lesson consists with how to add data to ArcMap, how to symbolize and label features in ArcMap. I have installed ArcGIS 10.3 in my laptop. You are able to install any version of ArcGIS and is there any clarification regarding ArcGIS installation, give me a comment, I will help you install. Let's open the ArcMap window from here, cancel the message and you will get an interface like this. There are some default tools in this interface, we can add other tools into the interface afterward. First of all, we should add table of content window from click window tab here then click table of content then we should add catalog window from click window then click catalog there are shortcut icon to table of content and catalog in this toolbar we can see the details of added layers from this table of content and also let's add some data into the arcmap window there are three ways to add in data to arcmap first one is clicking the add data icon here and browse the location of database and also there are some options to set a folder as home folder and browse it and the next icon browse the default geodatabase all the default feature classes could be browsed from here and there are some icons to convert the folders create new folders and create new data database in here now let's add some data from double click in our database click on data set and click on required feature class and add to the ArcMap. I will show you the second way to add in the data into ArcMap. Click file tab here then click add data again click on add data. As earlier you can browse the database and add required layer. The next way to add in the data is browsing from catalog. First go to catalog browse your location and click on database data set drag required layer into ArcMap window. Now I have added building layer as a point layer, transform layer as a line layer and land use layer as a polygon layer. Always the vector data sets that are used in ArcMap consist with three basic elements as point, line and polygon. In this map we can see the descriptions of building layer by right click on buildings and click open attribute table. In this data set we can see there are schools, post office, police stations and various types of building under building type. And also we can see all other attributes in transport layer and land use layer by opening attribute table. Now I explain how we can apply symbols for the state layers. Right click on building layer, go to properties and you can see this kind of window. In this layer properties dialog box, you can see some general information about the database, location and coordinate system of database under source tab, and there are some useful tabs. But we use symbolage tab to symbolize data. Here we can symbol these features using single symbol tab. Then select a suitable symbol from window. Here we can symbol these buildings according to the type of building. By using layer properties tab, click symbol, then click categories tab here. Then choose the field that you should be symbolized under value field. I select building type from drop down list because I want to symbol from that. Then click add all values tab here. Now you can see all the building categories in this window. If you want to symbolize police stations, with another symbol, select the symbol in front of the station, then select the symbol, change symbol color and size, and then apply the symbol. If you want to symbolize hospital, click the symbol in front of hospital, then select the suitable symbol, then change the symbol color and size, 
as suitable. Now you can change all the symbols according to building category. Then I choose transport layer. You can see the description of transport layer by opening attribute table. There are main roads, second roads and footpath in this layer. As previously, we can symbolize this transport layer by layer properties box, symbology, then click categories and select type under value field because I hope to symbolize from road type. Then click add all values. If you want to symbol main roads with another symbol, click on main roads, then select a suitable symbol. And you can apply symbol for second roads for path as I mentioned earlier. Now I show you how to symbolize land use layer. You can see the attributes of land use such as land use type by opening attribute table. Now I am going to symbolize this layer. Right click on land use layer, go to symbology, select category step, then select type of land use from the drop down list under value field. Then click add all values. Now you can see the categories of land use layer. If you want to symbolize paddy areas with another symbol, select the symbol in front of paddy, then select the suitable symbol from paddy. Next, I will change the symbol of grassland by click on the symbol, select suitable symbol. You can change the colors of symbols, then apply. Then I choose symbols for coconut areas and built up areas as explained earlier. Now you are able to apply symbols for all feature classes. The next step is we have to label the features in this map. So I'll show you how we can label building layer. First right click on building layer, go to properties, then select label tab. Then tick on the box in front of label feature in this layer. Then choose the field that should be labeled in drop down list. Then click apply OK we can label the features. This is only a rough idea about labeling. This label feature may take long time lesson. So I hope to explain more options about labeling from my next video. And also here I used a prepared dataset. I will explain about preparing new datasets and editing features for my next video. If there are any questions regarding this video, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe us.